In the previous video, we have seen how to create and set up Snowview account, how to find and verify email, how to send personalized email. So if you haven't checked this video yet, I have shared the link in the description box. You can check it out from there. And today I'm going to tell you how we can launch Drip Campaign. So hey guys, this is Neha here and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And today I'm going to tell you everything step by step how you can launch Drip Campaign. So launching a Drip Campaign is pretty easy. What you need to do, just click on Drip Campaign button to create a campaign for the list. So let's click on uh, here. And then we are here in the campaign creation section. On the left hand side, there are general campaign settings. In the middle, we will build campaign. And on the right hand side, we have we have campaign block which we will use to create our campaign. So let's start with the general setting. First, we will write the campaign name here. So I'm writing Snowview. And then click here to choose the email account you will be sending your campaign from. So here I've already added the account so i am choosing this if you want to add a new one you can add it from here so let me select this and next and then next sometimes a prospect can have several email addresses so here is the option to send to all of them or only to the first one so i have selected all emails here and then here we have option don't send to unverified emails or risky emails and then here we have option campaign setting so enable link tracking so if you want to incorporate link tracking into the campaign you can turn this on and here are the other option uh, enable open tracking check for missing variables stop after the reply so if you want to know more about this just drag your mouse here and you will get all the information here and now let's see campaign duration right just click on this from here we can set start campaign date and end campaign date. So let's set start campaign date. First select the time zone. So let me search for this Asia. Let's go down. And here it is Asia Kolkata. And here we will select the time. I want my campaign to be start at 9 a.m. And here from here we can select the date 5th July. So it means my campaign will start from 5th July at 9 a.m. right and let's select the end date the same way we will select so I want my campaign to be end at 7 p.m. okay and the date uh, 20th July so it means my campaign will end on 20 July at 7 p.m. right so now we are done with this now we will set a schedule for our campaign so just click on this here you will get option to create a schedule just click on this and now first we will give name to this schedule so I am just giving snow view and next you can choose time zone from here and from here you can select the days so I am selecting Monday to Saturday so and from here you can select the time also so it means the recipient will not receive mail from me on Sunday and he will receive mail from me during 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I hope this is clear to you and just click on save. Here your schedule created. Now select this and just uh, apply. And now we are done with this. So here you can see this. So these are general settings which you can do easily. But now we will build our actual campaign. Here you have to be more focused. To understand because this is the main thing to understand and once you understand this you will able to create your campaign easily so let's begin with this so snowview campaign builder uses a drag and drop model just click on the element you need to add as a step drag it into the campaign creation area and then connect the steps by dragging a line between them so I hope this is clear so here you can see there are five elements involved the first is start email trigger delay and goal we use these five elements to create our campaign so let's understand them one by one so the first is start start is an unchangeable first step for every campaign so from here if you want you can change the prospect list so just click on this and here you will get option to choose your other prospect list so if you want you can change this and now we have the list of people to whom we want to send email right so next we will write email to them 
so for this just click on this and here you will get option to write your email so I have made a separate video how you can write personalized email in Snowview. I will share the link in the description box. So here I'm not going in detail about this. And next we will set trigger. So what is trigger? So triggers determine the next step in the automation flow by tracking email opens and link clicks. So let me draw a line here first. And when you click on this here you will get option to choose a trigger. So you can choose any one of them as your trigger and this option is available only with premium plans. So let's say choose trigger content, content opened email and here we can set time also. So let's say uh, set two days. Okay. So when we have set this, so what will be our next step? So if contact will open the email, then again we will send them an email. And if the contact will not open the email, then also we are going to send them an another email, right? And here we will again set another trigger. Let's set trigger here. So this time we are going to set our trigger as contact clicked on the link from email. And let's choose the days, three days. Okay. So this time we set our trigger as contact clicked on the link from email, right? So what will be our next step if contact will click on the link? So if contact will click on the link, then we will again send them an email. And so this will be our next step. And if contact will not click on the link, then again, we will send them another email. Try to convince them to send open our link, right? And now at the end, we can specify goal of every sequence and track how many of the prospect achieve it. So simply track the goal here. Okay, let's draw a line here and just name your goal and in the statistics, we will able to see how many times it has been raised. So I'm just uh, writing here interested. Okay, and let's set goal for this sequence. Okay, and just I'm writing here not interested. okay so i hope this is clear so now let's come to this sequence so here if we want to send emails one by one with an exact time delay between emails then we can set delay here so let's drag delay here draw the line and let's set our delay say two days okay so we are done with this and then drag email here so what system will do after two days the system will automatically send this email to the contact. So at the end, let's set goal. So let's connect with this goal only so that we can able to track the information. So we have set up everything. Now just click on save and start. And so here is showing that I need to fill these details. So let me quickly go back and fill these details and then I'll show you the next step. So now I have filled the details. Let's go back again on save and start and let's see our next step. So here you can see we have done with this. Our, we have successfully launched our campaign. So from here you can see you can track all the data. So this is all about drip campaign. If you find this video helpful then please like the video, leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video.